This video in the SQL Fundamental Series works with tables that join with themselves called self-joins and also works with multiple joins between the same two tables. So although this is part of the Fundamental Series, uh, getting comfortable with working with self-joining tables and multiple joins between the same two tables really moves you up a notch in your level of expertise in SQL. What we'll do here is we'll work with the student teams database. So if you have that installed, you can work along with the examples. Also at the URL shown here, there's a script that will create a simple employee table that's only used in this example or in this video to illustrate self-joining tables. So let's take a look at those. A unary relationship occurs when you have a table related to itself, and it, this is not that unusual in a database. As I had mentioned, we'll be working with the student team's database, but we are also going to create a simple one-table example to illustrate a unary relationship. So the ERD, the data model, is shown here with employee table having a one-to-many relationship with itself. So why is the employee related to itself? because an employee may report to another employee as a supervisor. An employee may supervise zero to many employees. Those would be its subordinates. If you're a supervisor, your employee ID would appear here in the foreign key field for any employees that you supervise. So if we want to list employees, and name their supervisors, we will need to use the employee table twice in an SQL statement in order to get both the employee data and the supervisor data. Before we get started on the, uh, the self-join, we need to create the employee table. So there is a script available at the URL shown at the beginning of the video and it will create an employee table with the fields you see here and there's also uh, insert statements to add data to this table. I'm going to switch to SQL Developer and run those commands. So we see right now that I don't have an employee table on the left side in the connection and I've pasted in the command from the script and I'll run that command. If I come over here and right click and do a refresh, I now see that I have the employee table, but I don't have any data in it yet. So I will now copy in the insert statements and I will run those in script mode. So now I'm ready to, to take a look at the uh, unary relationship. So if you look at the actual employee data, doing a select asterisk from employee, you're going to see that Carlo Mora, whose employee ID is 1050, is a supervisor for Robert Block but also Carla Stevens and Wilma Washington report to Carlo Mora because we see the 1050 repeated in the supervisor foreign key field. So now we're going to look at how we could do a list of employees and their supervisors. So we will need to use the employee table twice in the query in order to get data for the employee and data for the supervisor. We will list the table twice in the from clause, and we will have to assign a temporary name to at least one of the tables. And I'm going to go ahead and assign sub for employee as subordinate and supervisor SUPV for the supervisor copy of the employee table. It's a good idea. And basically, you need to decide before you do the select clause what aliases you will be using in the from clause because you will need to 
use the aliases in the select clause. So in an essence you're going to decide what to do in the from clause before you really do much with the select clause. And so here's an example of the command uh, the, or SQL statement that we're going to run and we'll see that in the next slide. But I've got the from clause with the sub and you can see in red where I've used the sub up in the select clause where I want to see the subordinates employee ID I want to see the subordinates first name and last name then I'm using SUPV supervisor in blue and I want to see the supervisors ID and the supervisors first name and last name so this is a repeat of the SQL statement in somewhat larger type and the result shown in SQL Developer. I'll switch over to SQL Developer and copy in that code and run the code and we can see the results here. We're seeing subordinate ID 1080, Wilma Washington, supervisor ID 1050, supervisor Carla Moore, Carlo Mora and we saw earlier that that relationship does exist. Carlo Mora is the supervisor for Wilma Washington. Now another situation where you use table aliases and basically this functions just like the self-join uh, where you use the same table twice. You have to take each table that you'd use and give it a uh, for each time that you use it give it a, a table alias. So what we're going to do is we're going to work with students and evaluations and we're going to look at the name of the evaluatee and the name of the evaluator. So we'll use as the table aliases evaluatee and evaluator. In the from clause, students renamed as evaluatee, students renamed as evaluator, and also evaluations. And these have been joined, by the way, in the WHERE clause. In the SELECT clause, in red, corresponding with evaluate, I want to see the evaluate ID, and I want to see the first and last name of the evaluate. From the FROM clause, student says evaluator in blue, I want to see the uh, student ID for evaluator, and I also want to see the first name and last name for evaluator. Run this query this would be the result that I get. I'll switch over to SQL Developer and I'll run the query or actually it's already been run but drop the display and run it again and I'm seeing evaluation ID, evaluatee ID, A cry, evaluatee is Adrian cry, evaluator is Jan Tipov and the evaluator is Yuri Antipov. So we've seen an example of doing a self-join using the same table twice. We've seen uh, examples of doing uh, multiple joins between the same two tables where again you have a table that you have to use more than once. But we're finished with this video. If you want to keep the employee table you can. If you want to drop it you can. Here's the statement to drop it. I'll switch over to SQL Developer and I will do drop table employee and I can run that and of course I have the scripts if I ever want to recreate that I can I'll do a refresh and that goes away in this video we looked at the unary relationship a table related to itself we uh, looked at how to create that query or that relationship how to use it in a query uh, this requires the use of table aliases and the same thing applies when you're going to use the same two tables twice such as the uh, evaluator and evaluatee between uh, the relationship between students and evaluation.